Okay, go ahead. Go ahead your question, Mr. Sheik. Go ahead. We are now live. Air Cargo is now on operation any part of Africa. Uh, Emirates travel to Conakry, Guinea three times a week, Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. Go ahead, your question. Yes, uh, I would uh, like to know that uh, the Air Cargo is open. Yes, it's open. Okay, it's good. Uh, Air France, uh, hang on, Air France, Emirates, Morocco, all the uh, continent are open. Air cargo is all, are, uh, air cargo are open, except commercial flight. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I just uh, finished okay. having conference with my manager. The procedure is still the same. If you buy 10 kilos, you pay 5 kilos. We will do the contract. The procedure is like this. The buyer pay a uh, buyer order 10 kilos. For example, 10 kilos, he has to pay the 5 kilos. So we will do the contract. We will provide all the necessary requirements. And the buyer has to send his business license, his importation license, his passport copy, and guarantee that he would not default the payment. We will have to require the buyer a guarantee. We will ship the gold, pay the five kilos so that the seller can pay all the charges, shipping costs, etc., cetera, and, and the taxes. So on the five kilos, the balance, the buyer will transfer the payment to my seller's bank account. I will give the buyer banking details. My seller's bank, bank banking is the correspondence bank is in New York. Yeah. So we have to put that on paper. So I will gather the, the buyer. Have, yeah, go ahead. The seller have bank account in New York? Yes. I will, we will put that on the contract. The correspondence bank of my seller is New York. Uh-huh. So we will provide the, the buyer the, the sorry the money will be transferred to new york or no 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 now, hang on listen very carefully you've been talking to me for many many times we will give the buyer a banking details of the seller the correspondence bank of the seller every time you transfer payment to any part of the world there's always a correspondence bank now, my seller's correspondence bank is New York, in New York. The correspondence bank account is, would be on the contract. I have all the file of my seller because I'm the mandate of the seller. I have everything. So I'm going to gather the information of the buyer, right? So the buyer has to provide his business license, his importation license, his passport copy, and the and the country who will receive the gold. And we need to know the address of the receiver, the contact person, and the refinery of the receiver, so that we have to know on the contract, because the buyer would not fly because of the coronavirus. So we allow now to ship the gold to the buyer's destination, provided the buyer has to have a guarantee that he would not default the payment. That is the main, that is the instructions of my head office. We will ship the gold. The buyer pay five kilos on 10 kilos. For example, if the buyer wants 20 kilos, he has to pay seven kilos so that we can pay the charges, the shipping cost and insurance and the taxes. So that the remaining of 13 kilos the buyer has to transfer the payment after he received the gold. Mm -hmm. Because I'm going to gather all the buyer's information. We will send him the contract. We'll give the buyer the banking details of the seller. And the buyer has to put his banking details on his letter of intent because I'm going to gather the information of the buyer. You understand what I'm saying, Mr. Sheikh? Yes, so what kind of a guarantee do you want from the 
the proof of fund that he has available and also the letter we have to put that on the contract that the set, the buyer would not default the payment so basically what you want is bg no we don't be, we don't we don't do bgs bank statement that he has the balance he has the money available out of 10 kilos he will only pay the five kilos so he has to prove to us that he has money available in his bank account 20 kilos for example 20 kilos so he's only going to, to release the seven kilos so the 13 kilos is not payable it's not yet paid so it is our risk it is our risk this is my seller's instruction it's a big risk for us mm. so that is why the seller instructed me you need to ask the buyer his vital information because when the goods arrive in the hands of the buyer the buyer might run away it happened in in paris the buyer ran away on 450 kilos so we not we will not repeat it again mm. you get my point now of course okay so what else you want to know what else you want to ask but uh, the question I have to ask is now from the buyer standpoint, how can he trust the seller and get a guarantee? Well, he has to guarantee us because we give, him, we give him the opportunity. We don't know the buyer, but he has to open his camera because I want to see the buyer. You don't know the buyer and the buyer does not know you. So how to... Well, the, this is business. The buyer to, knows me already because I am live. Think about the it. Buyer also, the buyer also wants some guarantee, like the seller. Because well, we the want seller. the guarantee from the buyer. We're going to ship the gold. I will have a guarantee because I know my seller. I've been to Conakry. Yes. yes. I don't know the seller. I don't know the buyer. You never know the buyer is criminal. That is why I have to talk to the buyer. Open your camera. I want to interview the buyer. Yes. This is true. What you are saying is very true, madam. But the thing is, the buyer also is going to money well too bad for so him if he doesn't uh, he doesn't pay the gold who is going to give you then it is the risk of my seller yeah it is a big risk last year we give the buyer 100 percent cif we lose the 450 kilos no we don't repeat it again if the buyer doesn't trust us good luck good luck to him but you see, the seller also wants some kind of guarantee because you know this business. Well, I am, I am telling the buyer that I can assure you, I can guarantee you. I've been to the head office. He would not default. My seller would not uh, scam the buyer. And I, uh, we are going oh, to... But yeah? Buyer said the same thing to you. You have to trust me. I will, not, I will give you my vital information. And I, you have to trust me that uh, I will not default. Will you trust him? Well, we have to have on the contract because if the buyer will default, I'm going to put that online. This is the buyer that he default the payment. Yes. I will put him online when the buyer default the payment. Yes. We will. We will report him, this. report him to the police, please. That's right. Yes, of course. I, this I know. Okay, but uh, yes, so it has to be mutual. That's right. Understand. Well, do you think do you th do you think my seller will waste my time the, the time that, that I am here in front of you? Do you think the joker broker would not explain to you like this? None whatsoever. Hmm. When the buyer confirm he gonna he gonna talk to me in on private on WhatsApp or Skype. I don't want the buyer to respond on Facebook. I want the buyer to come to talk to me. And I would like to ask the buyer to open his camera. So I want to see the buyer because our conversation is recorded. Any buyer defaulted the payment, my goodness, he's going to lose his face. Yes. yes. We will not mark around this time. We will not. Of course. Any buyer cannot afford to open his camera because I'm going to interview the buyer and I'm going to record it privately. And the buyer default the payment, my goodness, you're going to be on the social media. That this is the buyer who defaulted the payment from us. And he has the contract and he has the passport. And he has the banking details. We will run after the buyer. If he defaulted the payment, we will contact his bank. 
why this buyer have not paid the, the payment. So we are not really mucking around this time. We are not. Hmm. Madam, this is what is also good because PG, if they don't pay, you can liquidate it. No, that is the reason why we give the buyer a trial because of the coronavirus. We gather the banking no. de banking details of the buyer, the contact. Let me finish so that you will hear. The future buyer will hear. When the buyer agree to have a 10 kilos, we want the buyer's banking details, address, his bank manager, the contact number of his bank manager, the branch of his bank. Because if the buyer default his payment, we will contact the buyer and his bank manager. Mm. And we want to know which, which branch of the buyer's bank account. So this is really very, very thorough. The buyer cannot muck around with us this time. We give them the opportunity because of the coronavirus, right? He would not apply, but the buyer has to provide his vital information. And he has to come to Wilhelmina for interview. I'm going to interview because all the conversation would be forwarded to my head office. Mm. Yes, but madam, I have a question for you. Go ahead. About the bank guarantee, I tell you, because if, the, if you send the product to the buyer, and uh, they have a bank guarantee and uh, for example the buyer will default on the payment the seller can immediately liquidate the bank we don't guarantee. we have to put that on writing we don't believe in bank guarantee because the bank it says the bank will guarantee to receive but he has not received it we want the buyer his bank account that he has available money we don't steal his money in the bank we don't we just the buyer has to show that he has available fund the value of 10 kilos or 20 kilos yes bank guarantee is nothing but no we don't do that no, it is instrument. It is no we don't deal in bank instrument don't introduce that because we are not interested we're not interested in bank instrument the buyer has to show that he has money in his bank account simple as that if the buyer cannot afford and using bank instrument meaning to say he has no cash available so we don't entertain that. This is can show you proof funds. bank proof statement. Funds is bank statement that he has available fund. Bank statement. Of course. Remove his bank account. We don't steal his money. Mm -hmm. We want to know that he has mm -hmm. the money in his bank account. Simple as that. We don't deal with the bank instrument. What a waste of time. Mm. It takes 30 days and 40 days to process because the bank account. No, you have to show that you have half a million dollars in your bank account. Mm -hmm. Of course. I will believe that. Then we will ship the good to your destination. Mm -hmm. But I'm going to gather the vital information from the buyer. I will repeat it, Mr. C, whoever watching me today. Right. If you're a buyer today watching Wilhelmina conversation, because coronavirus now, air cargo is open. Mr. Buyer, if you're watching this conversation that I have live, it is your opportunity now. Instead of 20 kilos, you start 10 kilos, you pay the 5 kilos. The balance you pay when the gold arrive in your position. Right. Then, when the gold arrive into your position, you pay the balance. First of all, Mr. Buyer, you send a formal letter that you are going to buy 10 kilos. Okay? You need to em emphasize your company name, address, telephone number. The mode of payment is FOB bank to bank. No CIA, no bank instrument. We will reject you that. So you have to pay the 5 kilos. We will put that on the contract. Now on this video, I will put the requirement that you will get. You will only get when the gold leave the country of origin i will put you in conakry guinea i've been to conakry my transaction has been successful so you don't need to worry mr buyer our worries how are you able to pay the balance that is our worries so now we're gonna put that on the contract mr buyer that guarantee you will not default the payment and we want to know who is your bank manager telephone number and email address and who is going to receive the gold right then we will 
notify you the airway bill that the gold will be on the way because you pay the five kilos out of ten kilos. Does that make sense now, Mr. Sheikh? Mm -hmm. If you buyer doesn't trust us, the more we don't trust you. We lost 450 kilos in the hand of the scrupulous buyer last year. But because my manager was telling me on my first video that we will allow the buyer to pay 5 kilos out of 10 kilos. Used to be our minimum is 20 kilos. Now we allow because of the coronavirus. So the buyer is really, really advantaged. Mm -hmm. So we don't deal broker here. I don't deal broker. I want the real buyer. Mm. You got Mr. You got my point, Mr. Sheikh? Okay. So you are special because I know you. We meet each other in Dubai. I know you personally. Mm. But even then, I know you. But if you bring the buyer, let me handle it. Okay, let me handle because I am going to interview your buyer. Bring that on WhatsApp. I want the buyer to open his camera. If the buyer doesn't open his camera to me, he's not a buyer. He's not. He's a, he's a scrupulous buyer. Maybe he's a criminal. Maybe he has an agenda. Because when, when the buyer opens his camera privately, I'm going to record it. Yes. I don't hide anything. Mr. Buyer, if you're watching me, you come on WhatsApp, you want to buy gold, open your camera. Our conversation would be recorded privately. Why? For our file, in case you're going to default the payment on the balance. A minute you default the payment, you are in trouble. We know where to find you. We know where to, sit to catch you. So don't muck around this time because of the coronavirus. I'm telling you, Mr. Bayer. Especially, why is the safest place for the gold? Sorry? Especially in Dubai, the buyer cannot muck around because That's Dubai correct. Is the That's right. So if you have the buyer in Dubai, Mr. Bayer, if you're watching me, you are from Dubai, it's very simple. In Conakry, Air Cargo, Everett's Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. Mm -hmm. So you are safe. Documentation. Sorry? How long will it be taking for the documentation? Once the payment of five kilos is uh, clear in the bank, uh, give us uh, five days. Three to five days. Mm. Yes. So the buyer who is watching me, it's really privileged. He doesn't need to travel because there is no commercial flight at the moment. This is what my manager was telling me on the pre on the first video. Mm. So, anything you ask, Christian, Mr. Sider? I'm wondering if it's okay if the buyer can transfer the money to Australia. Well, I I will do that. I will receive it. Because my seller knows me, and I've been there. To, I've been to the head office three times already. So if the buyer is not really serious, to me it's a red flag. I I'm a woman. I went to Conakry, Guinea. I brought the buyer. The buyer was is come in Uganda. Why he did get the gold with me? But because it's coronavirus and I cannot fly. Now we decided. My head office decided, okay, the buyer would not travel, okay. Buy 10 kilos, you pay the 5 kilos. You pay the balance. But we have to be strict, Mrs. Ford. You gather all the vital information of the buyer. Very thorough. <clears throat> we need a guarantee from the buyer, the bank statement. That he has available money out of 10 kilos. He only pay the 5 kilos. And you, the buyer, come with Wilmina to Wilmina on Skype. As I've said to you, I would like to interview you. I would like to gather more vital information so that I could put that on contract. Then we will send it to you. Mm -hmm. Mineral Consulting Group of Company is the seller. 
We'll put that on the contract. The name of the buyer and the banking details and your banking details, Mr. Buyer, and your refinery and your destination. Very simple. If you are a straightforward buyer, it would be very difficult if you have an agenda. Very difficult. Because if you muck around with us, believe me, you're going to be exposed. Because when, I, when you come, as I've said to you, Mr. Buyer, when you come on Skype and WhatsApp, I will record our conversation privately. Yes. If you don't like to open your camera to me, I wouldn't believe you are a buyer. I wouldn't believe it. This is money you're buying, you must remember. And we don't want to repeat the same mistake. We lost 450 kilos last year. We don't like to repeat it again. If you, if you are a buyer watching me and you lose money, that is your problem. And we have also a problem. 450 kilos worth 23 million. It's very costly. My head office in Konako is showing the buyer. Now, because I was talking to my manager, my manager gave me the go, and I am the, gu the guarantee. I, I assure you, Mr. Buyer. Mm. But before I'm going to give you the guarantee, I will record our conversation. Yes? Open your camera. I will question you before we're going to allow this is money. This is million dollars on 10 kilos. Our selling price, Mr. Buyer, I will give you 10%. Very good discount. So when you resell it, you get a profit on 10 kilos. Mr. Sider, what is the price today of gold? Have a look. I'm going to go on the world market. Okay. Just a minute. Now, the price of gold today is 1743.47 per ounce in dollar term. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Excuse me. In dollar term, 56,000. <coughs> 56,054. Okay, run off the 56. 56,000, less 10%. 50,400 per kilo. Mr. Bayer, if you're watching, if you're watching Wilhelmina live with Mr. Sider. Madam, a lot of buyers want to respect it into bullion, so I was wondering if it's possible for... Okay, I will request my seller to smelt the dust gold to 1.2. 50,400. Yes. I will I will ask my seller to smelt the gold 1.2 in 1 gram. If the buyer to make into gold volume on the first trial, on the second trial, then we know the purity already. So, we will discuss that on the second second shipment. On the first shipment, yes, we will provide 1.2. So you, Mr. Buyer, you're a winner because the two gram is cost money, fifty dollars per gram. Hmm. Two grams, madam. It's two hundred grams. Well, we will see that if the buyer is serious. Yeah. Yeah. We will see that. Every time you smell, you smell the, the dore into the bullion, you refine it. In Conakry, the, the purity is very high. It's 96. 96. Why Emirates is buying gold to us? My head office. Why he doesn't have any complaint? Only this stupid buyer, excuse my language. Only stupid buyer doesn't comprehend. I'm not here to teach you guys. We are here to sell. It's up to you. Mm. Oh, yeah. Why, why is my seller then the ship it to me, refinery in Dubai? My seller has been in gold business for bloody 22 years. Hmm. Yes, but the refinery will never pay you in advance. No, the trader buy from us and he resell it to Emirates. Hmm. Wow. You are not paying attention. Don't be dickhead. Excuse my language. <laughs> 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 You're a bloody dickhead. Mm. 
if you're in business, you, you've been watching me and you still you cannot comprehend. The gold trader buy gold from my seller and he resell it to his own customer. His customer is a refinery. So it's none of our business. The gold trader, he come and buy. Madam, what if the country wants to buy directly from your seller? Sorry? What if the refinery want to buy directly from your seller? Yeah, he can, he can do my directly and I don't have any problem with that. I am the extension the office. Refinery will never pay up front. No, we don't deal, but we don't deal with refinery. That's his problem. If he cannot perform his uh, business, that's his problem, not our problem. Yeah. Madam, a refiner, a we don't care. If we don't care, he's a refinery. We don't refine. care. We don't care. Can we really don't care. Can Dubai is impossible for them to default the payment. No, you are not understanding. The trader has an account to that refinery. Okay, the refinery will not entertain unless the seller has an account to them. We are not interested. We are selling and refine. So the the trader has an account to the refinery. He's going to resell it. That is his business. Our business is here to sell it to you as a trader. You buy and sell, and you get the bloody profit. You got my uh, you got my point here. Oh, very simple. Why you you why you yourself you why you give you yourself a hard time? My seller didn't even teach me. I myself sit down myself. What's what is here? And I do my research and I feed you guys. But you're still dickhead. Excuse my language. <laughs> hmm. So I don't deal with joker buyer. Madam, how much is my because our selling price is already online. You read it, you comprehend it, then if you comprehend, you are the buyer. If you don't comprehend, get out, don't muck around. <clears throat> I have to be tough, I have to be cruel to be loved because you're all joker. Hmm. Gold business is not for joker. Especially Indian bargain, bargain, bargain. Hmm. So what what else you want to ask question? Yes, so you will not deal directly with the refinery? No. We don't have the, the gold trader will come to us buy and sell. We are the producer here. The seller produce gold. If you are a big gold trader, you come to us, you buy, you sell it to your own customer. Your customer is a refinery you get the profit then the refinery will pay the gold spot price whatever the price of the world market so you buy today we give you the discount tomorrow if the gold will be turned to 57 you're a winner mm -hmm. so i think your question has been answered very clearly mm. does that make sense don't don't say madam because we are we're different we are selling unrefined so the good trader will purchase from us no i don't buy you whatever you say i don't buy it i don't the refinery will never pay no i don't i don't care i don't care the refinery will go to the gold trader and buy and sell no we don't care no we don't care at all there is no profit for the gold trader there, there is, there is. Why we give them the discount? And then he sell it to 2%. My goodness, you're still not comprehending. Mm. It's not 2%. No, 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 no. We have no problem at all. No, I have a buyer, he has no problem at all. You, we on, you only encounter a problem when you are a joker. Why my buyer has no problem at all? Why? Why you guys cannot comprehend? I don't here to teach you. You must remember. Mm -hmm. It's up to you. It's your business. You come to the wholesaler. You are a trader. You come to us as a wholesale price. We give you a discount. If the gold turns to 57 tomorrow, you sell it. 
It's your business. You get the profit. But if you're dealing broker to broker, of course. Mm. That is the reason why I said many times on the video, we prepare to deal direct to the buyer. In the international market, gold is bought by the... Oh, well, we don't care. We don't care. We don't care. My seller knows the business. He wouldn't buy whatever you say. Here's the gold. Show me the money. My buyer didn't any complain. Only the bullshit joker tell me that. Mm. No, but, but no I don't buy that one. No, Mr. Sheikh. I don't buy whatever you say. Learn from this I'm woman. Saying, no, I don't like it. Go, no, we don't. To purity. Uh, the buyer will see the purity when the buyer, when we ask the gold. Our gold is 95, 96. So too many questions, you still, you're still not comprehending. I don't deal time waster. The buyer knows the business. The buyer knows the business. Only joker broker doesn't know the business. I hope you... You would not be offended with me this time. No. Uh, it's a learning process for you. Yeah? Yes. It's a learning process. Those joker broker would not learn. To me, they are joker. I call them online gold prostitute. Excuse my language. Prostituting themselves. Of course. Of course. Mm. You have to have exchange. You have to exchange the ideas and learn. Yes, I, we are exchanging ideas. Yes. <laughs> For, for the benefit of everyone, yes? I answer your question, yes? Uh -huh. I answer your question. Well, Mr. Sheikh, when I was in Conakry, there's so many buyers come to our head office. So many. There's from Spain, from South Africa. If you go on my page, there was a white guy from South Africa. Okay? He met me in the airport. He arrived in Conakry. said, oh, Wilhelmina, everybody knows you. You are a superstar. I said, really? You know, my client asked me to find you. I said, why? His client from Dubai. My client asked me, Wilhelmina, to find you whether you are real. I said, well, I am here. We're the same. He is in our office, I was in the airport, we have a picture you must remember. And now that, <clears throat> that buyer from South Africa, we are good friends. We just laugh. You know what that's buyer? You are a really brave woman. Yeah. And then when he sent the picture <clears throat> to that buyer in Dubai, the buyer buy from him because of me. Can you imagine that? The buyer, oh, what, yeah, yeah. The buyer asked, find this woman. So he was been watching my, my YouTube and on my Facebook. Accidentally, the person from South Africa, a white guy, we meet each other. I introduced myself. Hi, I'm Wilhelmina from Mineral Consulting Group of Company. Oh, no. Somebody is wanting to know you. I said, really? Can we take a picture? I said, sure. He said it to his friend that he met Wilhelmina. See? Mm. Only joker buyers, only scared to me. I am a woman, I live in Australia. I'm not scared to travel by myself. You're a man, if, the pers if a man is scared to travel, to me he has no balls in his pants. Believe me. Yeah. I'm a woman, I'm a brave woman. Why can I talk to myself? Why can I bring the buyer, real buyer? And why this joker broker only sitting down in their ass? Mm. You will see, there are, but there are buyers watching me here and also broker. They're sitting down and they're as floating around, running around. How much is my commission? How much is the discount? Well, the discount is already in front of you. <clears throat> but because of the coronavirus, my seller just a few hours ago, he said to me, give me the instruction. We will allow the buyer to buy 10 kilos, pay 5 kilos. Take it or leave it, he can have the supply. If he doesn't have the money, so be it. Mm. Simple as that. And I'm not dealing with brokers, I'm telling you. huh? Whoever you are watching me on this video, I'm talking to Mr. Sa Mr. Sheikh. Mm -hmm. Mr. Sheikh is a good friend of mine. 
He's learning from University of Hard Knocks. Hmm. I met Mr. Sheik in Dubai before lockdown. I invited him for lunch. Hmm. He knows me. So even though I'm very tough on him, he learned from it. Isn't it, Mr. Sheik? Yes, of course. <laughs> okay. He's just like my brother. He's a younger brother of mine. <clears throat> He's a bloody Muslim. <laughs> but he, he he's a um, traditional Muslim. Traditional. He's a good Muslim. Here in Australia, we swear bloody hell, right? You know, when I was in in the office, uh, Mr. Sheikh, I swear in the office. I swear. When they hear my voice, oh no, Mrs. Ford is here again. I said, yeah. How are you guys? Mm -hmm. I'm the boss in the office when I walk in. I just go to the kitchen and lunch with the with the staff. And the staff said, Madam, don't touch it. I said, no, 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 don't serve me. I feel at home here. I'm sitting down in the kitchen, having lunch with the, the, the staff of the company, you see? And you guys, you're sitting down in your ass and you're scared, my goodness. You're not a buyer to me, really. I am the guarantee because I've been to Conakry. I, I can assure you that you will not be duped, provided you show your proof of fund. Bank statement, I can guarantee you will not be duped. My seller has been in gold for 22 years. He owned the mines. Do you think my seller will dupe you? He owned the mines. His company run by the, by the family and he has a build, owned the building. He has seven companies. He has 15 cars in his carpet. Do you think he's going to scam you? Maybe you're one of the scammer. Mm. Maybe. Mr. Buyer, maybe you are a scammer because why you're scared. You don't have the money to pay. My seller will laugh at you. Mm. One buyer said, oh my gosh. Why? Are you sure, Mrs. Ford? Your seller is real? I said, well, he owned the building. You go... The elevator with security guard. Mm. I can assure you, Mr. Buyer, if you come, if you purchase with us, what's the video on mineral consulting, Mr. Buyer? And what's the video on Sierra Leone? I was in the office. Watch that. Then think about it. If you want to buy, you make sure you're straightforward with Volumina. Because I don't muck around. I don't. If you do, if you just brokering, brokering, sorry guys, we want the buyer to supply, not for the joker broker. Mm -hmm. So, any question, Mr. Sheik? Uh, no, no, I want to know that. Uh, okay, so this is the procedure. The procedure is very clear on the video. Yeah. So anyway, thank you for our conversation. Uh, Mr. Bayo, if you if you're listening to our conversation of Mr. Sheik, Mr. Sheik is a is a good friend of mine. He's just asking question on your behalf, Mr. Bayo. <laughs> All right, Mr. Sheik is a he's, I treated him like my brother. He's just I'm younger, I'm older than him. Okay, so me, he knows me. Every day he call me. When he asks question, I give him the answer. Mm -hmm. So, Mr. Sheik, thank you very much for our conversation. So what, what do you think of our conversation, Mr. Sheik? Tell me. What did you learn out of our conversation? I learned something. Uh, that, uh, uh, you have to have a proper procedure for everything to move forward. And? Uh, there is a certain protocol. The buyer has to prove they have the money to buy. Mm -hmm. The seller will prove the goal. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you very much that you learned from the University of Hard Knocks. So anyway, thank you very much for our conversation, Mr. Sheikh. You hear me? Okay. As I've said to you, what time is it now in Dubai? Here's 10 o'clock in the evening, Sunday. Can you imagine I work seven days a week? 
I interview buyer, reject, 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 reject. So maybe I have to compose the songs that reject, reject, reject. Mm -hmm. <laughs> maybe I have to compose a, a lyrics titled reject gold, reject, reject, reject. Why you were being reject? Because you are a time waster. Because you are a joker. Maybe I'm gonna create a lyrics. Reject, reject, reject. Buying gold and diamond, reject. Because you are not a buyer. <laughs> All right, Mr. Shake. All right, thank you, Mr. Shake. Thank you very much. Goodbye. <clears throat> By the way, <clears throat> Good evening, Mr. Shah. Thank you for watching. Gagik, thank you for watching. Emmanuel, thank you for watching. Gautam, thank you for watching. Gagik, I want to talk to you privately. Mm -hmm. I will call you and we will talk about it. <clears throat> Gautam, I don't know where you're coming from. If you want, if you're a serious buyer, you talk to me on WhatsApp or Skype then we can discuss business now those buyer that have not watched my previous video this is my online office mm -hmm. i have a good news for everyone my head office was telling me that air cargo is open but uh, commercial flight is not open yet so you are buying precious item there's a saying, supply and demand determine the price. <clears throat> so I'm sure everybody is really hungry of supply. You cannot find the supply because of the coronavirus. It's a good news for you if you have the money. It's a bad news for you if you don't have the money. Two things in this business, gold and diamond, this is precious item you're buying. Let's talk about gold. The price of gold today is 56. There will be a prediction that the gold turned to 2,000, 3,000 per ounce, 5,000 per ounce. Multiply that on 32.15 equals, it's up to you to figure out. Because Wilhelmina has been watching the movement of gold on the world market. I am a current event person. I love to read the current event but you guys you're just sitting down in your ass collecting information from group to group that is fine mm -hmm. but Wilhelmina is feeding you the vital information if you don't read to me you're not a buyer there was a buyer this our buyer's mandate from Canada but he was born in Conakry Guinea <clears throat> this is what he said to me okay he, sent, he saw me on YouTube and he didn't read properly. And he said, but I'm not going to mention his name. Okay. He said, he said to me, Hello, Wilhelmina. Thanks, thanks for putting out the great, great educational material once again. He saw me on YouTube. Eh? My name is so-and-so. But I'm not going to mention his name. And I'm myself located in Canada. I am a gold seller's mandate. My seller is located in East Africa. I would agree with you that much as it is difficult to find serious seller. Okay, It is also difficult to find serious buyer. I really like to talk to your buyer. No, we don't divulge our buyer no and on the call on the video you uploaded four days ago the attitude on his way is conduct business it makes to make safe for all parties involved can you teach me on how to close the deal no i'm not here to teach you mm -hmm. just like on the restaurant when you go to the restaurant you order the food you like the food the chef will not tell his recipe. Why should I tell my recipe? Uh -huh. So you are just collecting. You think you can 
be in business using me? No. I am here to sell. I am not here to teach you. No. You have the money, you buy. This is my online store. You walk into the store and I have the products produced by my seller. Is that make sense? Those of you who are floating around collecting information, that's fine. You learn from Wilhelmina. I am the only person who put my face. Okay, recently or last year, I was being blown. I don't care if you blood me. I really don't care that this scam is come. You're one of the scammer. You're asking CIF. Gold is not for CIF. Do you know what is the meaning of scam? Lie, deceive, manipulate. So don't manipulate. Don't deceive yourself. If you come to Alamina, to me you are you're just such a joker. Now, <clears throat> okay, may I greet uh, someone? Okay. Emmanuel, Gautam, which Diamond Company? I don't know. Please introduce yourself properly, privately. Diamond Company, WH, I don't know. Who, who is this? Diamond Company in France. Okay. <coughs> Excuse me. When you are in business, you don't need to hide your face. You are using picture only. That is a red flag to me. Mm -hmm. When you are a buyer, show your face. Introduce yourself properly. If you are a broker, show your face. No one will believe you if you are just using picture. I'm going to give you a hint. Mm -hmm. No one, no such buyer or seller will trust you. Mm -hmm. So if you really want business, because we are now on social media, <clears throat> I'm the one who introduced this. Here in Australia, I used to be in real estate. We put the house on the search engine called realestate.com.au. When I was in real estate, my pictures are everywhere because we have to show our face so that the buyer believes that we are legitimate. But you guys, you are using Facebook, you're using LinkedIn, you're using YouTube, you don't show your face. No one will believe you. There are many buyers watching me. Why I get the buyer? Why? Buyer come to Wilhelmina on YouTube. Why? Because they are real. And you, you're not showing your face. You're just putting the picture, collecting information. You come to Wilhelmina. But you learn out of this video. Yeah? You learn out. So pay attention, digest it, you apply it to yourself. Now, if you're a buyer, you have to introduce yourself. If you come on, on Skype or WhatsApp, do not say hello. My name is not hello. My name is Wilhelmina Ford. Okay? If you're going to say hello, I'm going to remove you. I'm going to block you so that you will not come back. This is how I'm very, very strict. This is not a joke business. This is real business. This is gold. This is money you're buying. You must remember. I need to be strict because I need to help you and I need to protect my seller. I just been to Africa before lockdown. So don't muck around with this lady in front of you. Do not muck around. If you muck around to me, you're really scrupulous. Yeah. People doesn't like Wilhelmina. I don't care. I'm not a bigger. I don't big to anyone. I am here to help both buyers and sellers. We are exporter. I am not selling banana here. Right? We are not selling pumpkin here. Even pumpkin, there is a price. Banana, there is a price. Gold, this is premium. I hope you understand my logic here. Okay. So many buyer. Okay. Senegal. <laughs> So I have so many seller and buyer buzzing me on WhatsApp. Just a moment. Okay. So I'm gonna call him while I'm on. See this this person. Okay, from Senegal. Good morning. I read my I read and understand all your procedure. I will. Mm -hmm. Okay. It's from Senegal.
Good. Hello, good, ev good evening. I, you have called me. It's good you called me, but uh, you hung up. Okay, I'm live at the moment. Tell me, what can I do for you? Tell me. I said, tell me what can I do for you? You called me, but you hung up. <laughs> you leave a message on my uh, WhatsApp. It said, hello, good morning. I read and understand all your procedure. I will transfer to my buyers. See you next time. Okay. Yeah, we have gold. Okay. Are you a buyer or what? Yes, I am the marketing consultant of the seller. Tell me, what can I do for you? Huh? I am the marketing consultant on Monday. Did you not read? I know, I know you before. I talked with you before. Is it? I am having a job in Bamako. I know you before. We, we talked last time. Uh -huh. So, okay, what can I do for you this time? You forget? Uh, I have been talking to a lot of people. I'll ask if you have. Yeah, I think you have been talking to me before because uh, I look at on WhatsApp and uh, yeah, I've given you the procedure, right? I already given you the procedure before, Mr. Omar. I already given I already given you the procedure. Yeah. You're breaking up. What did, what did you say again? What did you say again? Can you repeat it? I couldn't I couldn't hear it because uh, you're breaking up. Can you repeat it again? What? I said, can you repeat what you're saying because you you were been breaking up? Ah. You read, go back and read the procedure, then come back to Velomina and then send me the, the play, send me an order. Ah, he's a broker. He doesn't read. No matter how I provide the, the full corporate offer, still he doesn't read. He doesn't comprehend. He's a broker. I don't have time to teach people. Everything is online. You read it, digest it. You come back, you send a formal letter of intent to purchase coming from you. Okay, so <clears throat> but anyway, guys, thank you very much, and uh, I think you've been listening to my conversation with Mr. Sheikh. Okay, now I'm going to summarize again Africa is open air cargo, but commercial flight is not yet open. So, if you are a buyer today, you can now order you can place an order okay maybe 10 kilos or 20 kilos so we don't sell two kilos we don't sell five kilos minimum of 10 kilos because there is a charges for that now but because you wouldn't travel and my head office was telling me if you watch on the, pre the previous video 30 minutes ago it's on my Facebook. My head office says, because of the coronavirus, we will allow 10 kilos. You pay the 5 kilos. We will put that on the contract. Okay? Now, Wilhelmina will gather your vital information. You send a form, uh, LOI called letter of intent of purchase coming from you as a buyer stating 10 kilos for example or 20 kilos for example your address your company name your telephone number your email the mode of payment is fov it's not lc it's not cif it's not sblc but because of coronavirus we allow you to pay for example you're gonna buy 10 kilos you pay five kilos the balance of five kilos, you pay that when the gold arrived to your destination. Mm -hmm. So, 
the requirements that you will receive as a report, commercial invoice, attestation, ownership, custom clearance, airable, and the shipping cargo name, which is Air France or Emirates if you are from Dubai. Now, the full corporate offer is on here. I want you to read Mr. Bayer. Read it properly, digest it properly. I will put the video on gold and I will also put video on Conakry Guinea Mineral Consulting Group of Company. Listen that properly, watch that video that whom you are dealing with. You saw Wilhelmina in the office and the gemologist explaining about Mineral Consulting Group of Company. And there's also a video on Sierra Leone, gold and diamond. So after you watch the video, because it takes a while, then make your decision. Don't rush. This is half a million you're buying. Our selling price, I will give you 10%. That is a very good deal because our selling price really is 5%. When I travel, I'll give you 3% in total of 8%. But because we don't travel because of the coronavirus, you're lucky. I will ask my head office to give you 10%. Now, the price of gold today is 56,000. <clears throat> 56,054. We will run up to 56. 56,000. I will consider 10%. 10% mm -hmm. discount. Minus 56,000. This is our selling price, $50,400. You pay the 5 kilos. So the, five, the amount that you're paying 5 kilos, we will use that to, to pay the charges, shipping cost, insurance, and the valued added tax. There's a charges. So you don't need to pay taxes. You pay the 5 kilos. We will process all the paperwork. You pay the 5 kilos, the balance. Now, the balance... You pay that when the gold arrive, right? On the contract, we will require you to provide your banking details, your bank name, address, your manager's name, your manager's email, the manager's telephone number on that bank. Why? <clears throat> In case you default the payment, we know where to find you. Uh -huh. And you come to Wilhelmina, I will talk to you and open your camera. Our conversation would be recorded. Why? We would like to have a file in case you're going to default the payment. When you're going to default the payment, then we know where to find you. Mm -hmm. So we need to make sure that you guarantee that you will not default the payment. Because last year we lost 450 kilos in the hand of the scrupulous buyer from France. My seller sold the buyer. It cost money to hire a lawyer in France. So that is the reason why we don't want to repeat it again. But because of the coronavirus, my manager was telling me, we will allow the buyer to Secure 10 kilos, pay 5 kilos. Is that good, Mr. Bayer? I think it's really very good. To me, it's very good. Now, you don't need to be scared because, well, I mean, I've been to that office. I've been to Conakry. I've been to Sierra Leone. So you watch that video. After this, I will put the mineral consulting group of company that I do the presentations of the gold together with the gemologist, Derek. You watch that properly. And then you watch the gold and diamond on Sierra Leone. You watch that properly. Then when you are ready, you come back with your letter of intent to purchase called LOI. Letter of intent to buy. Very simple if you are a buyer. 
it would be very hard for you to convince Wilhelmina if you don't have the fund to convince us. Proof of fund, your bank statement. No, L, no LC, no SBLC. <laughs> we don't deal that. This is cash bank to bank. So now, Mr. Bayer, you come to Wilhelmina, you ask question if you're still not comprehending. To me, it's very easy to comprehend. Really. It's really easy. This is my online office. I am the extension digital virtual office of the seller. I live in Australia. I'm not African. Thank you very much. Have a pleasant good evening. I shall see you. Hi.